Welcome back, Legends. I hope you're all fantastic. I have a real curiosity for you all today. This is a McAfee G40. It is a plastic guitar that predates the Fender Stratocaster. Before we talk about it anymore, let's just have a quick little listen to this thing. <laughs> Sounds like a guitar, and I guess that is the most important thing here. McAfee was originally a classical guitar player who went on to become a luthier and an inventor, and you probably know the name McAfee due to his association with the Selma Company and the iconic gypsy jazz Selma McAfee guitars as played by Django Reinhardt and everybody else who has ever tried to play that style. We're talking about the 30s there though. In the 40s, McAfee got into injection mold plastics, making things like little reeds and mouthpieces for clarinet players and other reed players until in the late 40s, he really hit the jackpot making plastic ukuleles that sold by the million. The G40 though, didn't really sell by the millions. This is a little bit of an unknown curiosity, but let's just take a really quick look at it. The top is a single piece of injection mold plastic. The bridge is plastic, as you can see in the way it's attached on there. You've got these lovely shaped F holes. Uh, you've got a two piece, at least two piece neck on here. It's probably more like a three piece thing because if you look at that right there, this little uh, overlay is a separate piece. There is a nut built into the overlay. Isn't that absolutely wild? And then the fretboard is separate from the neck, but check this out. You have dot markers on the neck and on the other side, you have dot markers on the back that are recessed. So you can kind of get your thumb onto the little dot and you know the fret that you're at. Very, very novel. The back is one big piece along with the sides. You can see this kind of, uh, where can I get that in the light properly? There is a really lovely little dip there. And, you know, overall, this is a pretty lovely piece of design. It's balanced. Uh, it kind of looks nice and it doesn't sound too bad at all. I can totally understand if you were used to the sound of like an arch top jazz guitar or, you know, a flat top acoustic guitar that you pull this out and you might go, you know what, it doesn't have the bass response that I'm used to and it's not as loud, but uh, what it kind of lacks maybe in tone, it kind of makes up for in playability. This is very, very easy to play. It's pretty solid and, you know, it's reliable because it's plastic. It's not gonna kind of breathe or anything like that like wood. This particular example though does need a little bit of a setup. The action is a little bit higher than I would like even on an acoustic guitar and the intonation does need to be tweaked a little bit. But other than that, it is a really, really interesting instrument and just kind of goes to show maybe how conservative guitar players are because you know, anytime somebody says, oh, check out my new headless Aristides, there's no wood on this thing, uh, a large, portion of people go, what do you mean? No wood, what's wrong with you? The kids these days, they're ruining everything. And then you think this thing is older than a Strat. What a wild, wild little instrument. Uh, banjo style tuners on there as well, which I didn't mention. Uh, there's probably a bunch of other really good videos on the internet you can go to check out these particular things. But I'm just gonna play a bunch of clips with some kind of cowboy chord strumming. I'll play some single note stuff. And then right at the end, you're gonna hear this with a little bit of distortion because it makes a really kind of cool bluesy slide guitar as well. Let's check it out. <laughs> Thank you. 
the video. I really hope you enjoyed the tones and I really hope you enjoyed this little overview of the G40 from McAfee. Have you ever played one of these? Do you own one of these? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you all. And if you're feeling generous, you can hit the like button, you can hit subscribe. And if you wanna support the channel directly, there are links to my music and my Patreon in the video description. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'll see you next time.